I have five things to open. I've already opened them, so I don't have to be fiddling around with stuff. Um, but I'll go through this as quickly as I can. But you haven't looked through it. I haven't looked through it yet. I'm not going to lie to you, though. I did look through this, because I was like, what did I order from China? Turns out I didn't order it from China. I ordered it from America. I was so looking forward to Fidget Cube. This thing is awesome. This thing is right up my alley. It's exactly what I need. I'm always clicking pins. I'm always fiddling with my keys. It's It was a Kickstarter That's project cute. and different colors. And there's a, there's a gimmick on each side. So you got the... Uh, this one here, these these kind of click. Each one each one clicks. This is like a like a like a Nintendo sixty four style analog stick. So you just do that. That's a little rotator thing. Sitting there like ah, waiting for the thing. These little cogs, kind of like lighter flickies. That's a trackball style thing. That's just like. It's just a dent in it, so it's like the... It's supposed to be like a prayer stone. Yeah, like a... Mm, meditating... Mm -hmm. Jerk in front of me in line! Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I already immediately should have ordered more than one. So I ordered that. Um, it was a Kickstarter project. I did not back the Kickstarter, but they are available for sale, too. Um, this is from... I think this is from Eric. That I found through a Famicom Disk System site. There's a website, and again, I'll leave the description below on how you can build your own um, Famicom Disk Writer. So if you find a crap Famicom Disk System game that won't work, doesn't play, maybe it was rewritten. Like I had a Castlevania where like side A was Castlevania, but side B was supposed to be the game of Castlevania, but instead it was like pinball or whatever it was. So I got back, said Castlevania working. Um, so I basically... Um, Oh, this is new. I didn't send him this. Well, whatever it is, thank you. I, I was gonna say I sent him like five, or I th wanted to, no, I sent him four. But yeah, like this was, like this was the Castlevania that wasn't working. I was like, ah, you know. So, but since it's not working, I may as well put something on it. So now it's a Samurai Sword, which was a game I was really looking forward to playing. Um, this was whatever it was, uh, the old bootleg um, Famicom Disk System uh, card. Now it's Eggerland, which is the Famicom Disk System version of Lolo, and played kind of like Lolo, where you unlock the level, but then you can go through different doors and all that too. So Pat Labor, uh, this is something else. Um, Kiki Kai Kai, <laughs> which is like, um, uh, what's that Pocky and Rocky prequel thingy? Anyway, um, that website shows you how to make a Famicom Disk writer for your Famicom Disk System. And after talking to him for a little bit, I was like, you know what? I, I still want to do this, but can you help me out and just change some of these games? Because I want to play them immediately. And he's like, well, all right. So so thank you, Eric. And thank you for the extras, too. That was uh, completely unexpected. And uh, man, I appreciate that. You didn't, you didn't have to do all that for me. You didn't have to do all that for me. You have already done so much for me. All right. Three boxes. Go with this one first. Mm. This one. Oh, my buddies at 1UP Cards, you know my 1UP Cards and how much I love them, uh, they have a few new products. Uh, my buddy Ryan sent me something that I didn't even know existed the other day, which was the um, the Nintendo Cleaner. Not just for games, but to actually clean the system, which is great because I keep on popping in the uh, things. But now they have a 1UP Console Cleaner for Sega Genesis. I had to get one of each. Here's the Sega Genesis one. Um, works the same premise. You just do that and pop it in there, you know? Um, oh, could never, could never have enough of these. Thanks. Thank you, 1UP cards. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Oh, there's two of them in here. Wait a minute. Oh, perfect. All right, so um, so here's the Nintendo one. Has a little tab on there and everything, which is kind of cool. Um, looks like a cart. This is actually like a proper... This is a proper Nintendo game cartridge, which is great, actually. That's awesome. Um, and then, but you pop, you, same premise with the uh, rubbing alcohol app, but then you pop it in your system. And it cleans it that way. Super Nintendo is covered as well. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, these were not sent in lieu of endorsement, but I endorse them all the same. Because <laughs> even though the game you think is broken, sometimes you just need to clean it and then it works. 
That's all I gotta do. Uh, let's go with this one. My buddy Jeff, Jeff Hodges, from my home state. We got a note. Well, of course, there's something in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, we got something in here. What do we got? What do we got? Um, I will read it briefly to myself, and then if um, oh, I'll read this out loud. Hey there, John. Sorry for the late Christmas gifts, but better late than never, right? Of course, feel free to give the games away if you can fix them. Well, I love hearing about that. Cheers and Happy New Year. Well, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. I can never have enough. When you, when you have kids, we use these for garbage bags all the time. So, new, new restock of garbage bags here. I'm guessing these are the broken games. Uh, these will be open cart surgery videos in the near future. Whoa, boy. All right, there's gonna be some good games, some good games coming up that I, I, I hope we, I, I hope he I can fix, I hopefully I can fix. All right, this he, he already knows what's up, Jeff. You are already awesome. Got some VHS. Oh my gosh. All Star Wrestling with Sergeant Slaughter. This is fantastic. Holy moly! I'm a huge uh, pro wrestling fan, by the way. Um, and like my video games, I also like my anime retro. Newer anime, uh, it doesn't have the same feel. It doesn't have the same charm as anime from like the uh, 80s and 90s. And pro wrestling, I like it currently. But man, something about the 80s wrestling that I grew up with. All-star all wrestling with Sergeant Slaughter. Featuring the likes of like the Road Warriors on the back. Super awesome. Here we go. Look at this. More all-star wrestling. Got the fabulous Freebirds right up front there. Look at that deep uh, sleeper hold there. Is that Vern Gagne? I think so. No, that, that might be Greg Gagne, actually. It says Greg right there. Oh, it's Greg and Vern versus Nick Bockwinkle and uh, Mr. Saito. Is that Nick Bockwinkle? Doesn't really look like him from this angle. I don't know. Anyway, what's with it? Wrestling's Greatest Villains, the Golden Era. Wow, look at this. This is like Crusher, Gorgeous George right on the front there. Nice. Lil Albano. Rare Nostalgic Interviews. Top 10 matches. Dick the Bruiser. Kangaroos. Dick the Bruiser. Look at that guy. Built like a brick outhouse. I had a friend who would always say, like, whenever Ken Shamrock would walk to the ring, he's like, ah, oh, there he is. He's built like a... He wouldn't say the word outhouse. He would say the... S-H-I-T. S the S Yeah, he was like, oh, the, that guy's built like a brick outhouse. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> and how would you know, sir? Awesome. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Uh, complete again, uh, unnecessary as always. And uh, you live close too. I mean, I mean, it's like you live pretty close to where uh, we live. We gotta, we'll, we'll team up one of these times here. We'll hook up one of these times here. Um, final box from my buddy Thor, messaging me a little bit through my um, rigged games Facebook Messenger. And you can get, you can contact me anytime that way too. I'm always happy to hear from you. Um, I don't always answer every day, but sometimes I'll, you know. Two or three days later, I'll just answer everything all at once <laughs> when I can. Um, and he was like, hey, I found a few things. I think you'll like it and send it your way. And it immediately starts off with a note. Um, let me briefly read it here and uh, see if I should read it out loud. Yeah, um, I can I can read this, I think, Thor. I, think, I hope you'll be okay with this. I want to say hello. I enjoy watching your channel. I've learned a good amount from you on making repros. Thanks. Uh, so I have included a better multi-head screwdriver set. It's just what I need. I have the same one as you do and lost all the bits. <laughs> uh, this should make opening certain carts easier. Also included some custom labels to cover the UV window on the EEPROMs you use. Oh, dude, oh, that's awesome. Um, usually, yeah, because when you have the EEPROMs, I'll have one right here. Because that window right there, if it's not covered, if UV light hits it long enough, that's what erases it. And I, so... You do want to get those covered up. I usually just use like a black sharpie and scratch it out. But um, I'm I'm down for using uh, uh, custom stickers there. Uh, there are more PRG ROM than C CHR ROM ones, so that's fine. Um, I have also included some English snacks that I get from time to time. I don't get back there as much as I should. And since you like cereal, there seems to be the grocery store that came to mind. Um, last, I threw in some 3D printed coins I designed. Oh, dude, 3D printed. I designed and printed, as well as a version of, uh, I think it says top all that works on Windows 7 and above. From Thor, with a smiley face. All right. 
That's an awesome name, just in general. Thor. This, I like. I love this packing material. John what? Green. Figure Scott Steiner can have the chainmail. I can have the. Uh, gonna kick it off with oh. Jaffa cakes. Oh my gosh. These look good. I think I cut some of those. Dude, really these are long. awesome. Uh, ten spongy cakes with Place. that squidgy orange center. I think it literally, it literally says squidgy. I'm not making that up. Oh, here's the uh, screwdriver set. Oh yeah, this looks. This is. This is a way better screwdriver set than what I'm using. <laughs> I'll use that for sure. Thanks, dude. Thank you, Thor. We have the uh, fruit pastilles. Pasties? These are the custom stick. Oh, I see. Yeah, custom stickers. You just put them right on there so you know which one's CHR and which one's PRG. Awesome. Uh, very handy. I'm going to use these uh, for sure. I like how it says seven sweets equals one serving. Just the fact that it's like seven sweets. Seven sweets is one serving. Seven sweets. Then why doesn't it come with seven sweets? It does. Each is seven sweets. Oh, and, and individual. Because to me, it's like, so. like, don't tell me that a one liter is two servings of soda. Because I'm going to open it up. I'm going to drink the whole thing until that happens here. We have some 3D printed coins. I want to check these out here. These are, I'm a, I'm a huge 3D printing. I would love to get a 3D printer one of these days. I need a 3D printer. So I can make my ultimate goal in life. Make your own cart. Is to make my own cart, but have it be uh, two-sided so you can pop it in this way or flip it around and pop it in the other way so it's two, two different games. Um, these are cool. Look at this. 3D printed. Who says that? Or do you want the ones that like you can put slime in it? So mm. like you have the ghost bumpsters and you have slime in it. You will pay me the rope. All right. This is, oh, top all, Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. Oh, that's what he was talking about in the thing. This is for, um, top, is this for the, the top, um, EEPROM programmer that I use? Probably. Probably. And maybe you get this to work in Windows 10. Wouldn't that be cool? I might actually get this to work in Windows 10. Because right now I'm using a Windows 7 POS notebook that works, but it's so slow. Got some breakfast cereal, too. Tiny toast. Tiny toast. Blueberry. This is the best kind, too. There's two of them. There's strawberry, there's blueberry. I actually have strawberry in the cupboard right now. Jen's obsessed with that. Blueberry, yeah. My son loves Tiny Toast. Our seven-year-old, eight-year-old. I said eight-year-old. And, more importantly, more of my, uh, more of my mesh armor. John Riggs is your hookup. You don't have to holla if you hear me. I got all this. Awesome. So, Thor, thank you so much. This is fantastic. I think my favorite part was the, uh, packing... I think every part was amazing. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going to reuse this sometime. I don't know for what yet. And uh, and thank you very much. It's never never necessary to send stuff. I appreciate it when you, when you do, though. Um, address is in the description below. Like these games here from Jeff. And he even says, go ahead and give them away if I can get them to fix this. Like, like Mega Bomberman. Come on, if I can get that working again, that's awesome. And this one here, seriously, then again, if I can get it fixed, I'll give it away. I'm, I'm, I'm having a dramatic pause because I have a, I have a feeling you're going to hear a squee in a second here. Oh, but no. uh, this game here, Pokemon Stadium. <gasps> oh my gosh! See, <laughs> if I get this working, we'll keep that one. You're not going to keep that oh, one. No, but... no, this is. Do we have it? Do um, we have a copy? No. Wasn't ours stolen? Yeah. Oh my god. I know. Remember I, when I would make you have to do like the cute Pokemon yeah, battles with when, me? Yeah. When when my wife and I first met, uh, she um, she she doesn't really play video games, but she knows the Pokemon cart from the cartoon. But uh, her uh, brother and her would play Pokemon Stadium on the sixty four. But you, we couldn't use anyone cool. We had to use only the little cute first evolution Pokemon, whatever we fought. And she knew all their weaknesses and all that too, so she'd beat my ass every time. You choose a water one and be like, hmm, electricity, yeah. bitch. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense to me. I, I know the elements just from, you know, Final Fantasy and all that. But mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and uh, appreciate you and everything you do. This is very, very cool. Uh, more videos in the near future. So thank you for uh, watching and subscribing. And check out these other videos here, too. And until and, uh, next time, we'll see ya.